In this video, I will teach you about the quartile function in Microsoft Excel. Basically, what that function does is it calculates values that will cut the data into equal parts. So, for the quartile, we have four parts. Um, imagine, uh, in this data set, there's 500 numbers. So, we want to have four equal buckets. Each bucket would have 100, about 125 numbers. Now, sometimes it's one above or one below, but as equally as possible, we want to take these 500 numbers and very quickly determine where the cutoff points are so that we can sort of take them and very quickly move them into four equal parts. So, um, I just use the basic function here to count how many numbers in the data set. It goes from D8 which is here, and the data set ends down here on D507. So we have 500 numbers, 500 numerical values. So we will start off, and I'm going to go equals. When I type in quartile, you'll see there's different options here, but I'm going to go with the quartile function, the one that's backwards compatible with other versions of Excel. I'm going to select the data set, press the F4 key to lock this so it won't change so that I can drag the formula down and now it's asking me which quartile I want. If I put a zero it's the same as the minimum value. The first quartile would mean everything from the minimum up to this first quartile that would be one quarter or 25 percent of the numbers. So let's go back here and I'm gonna pick the zero press enter so we know that the minimum value is 96.01. It's really not the first quartile, but it's the minimum value. Now when I drag this down, this represents from this value, which is the lowest, to this number. That is one quarter or 25% of our numbers fit in between here. If I drag it down again, this means the next group of numbers, the next quarter of our numbers, is between 137 and 150. So if I keep doing this, this is the next range, and the last group of numbers, the largest numbers, largest quarter of our numbers fit in between here, 164 and 214. Now, to prove this, I mean, we could or sort the data and we could count them manually, but that would take a long time. So I'm going to use a counting function, count ifs, allows multiple conditions going to select the data range again, press the F4 key, put those dollar signs in, nothing to do with currency, it just locks them, put in a comma, and now let me just scroll back to the top, I'm going to say, put in the operator, greater than or equal to, oops, equal to, and I put the ampersand, to s here's my condition, I want values from this data set that are greater to or equal to the 96 and I'm going to put a comma, and you see how they go in pairs. Criteria range 1, criteria 1. I'm just going to borrow the range, it's the same range, paste it right here, and the second criteria that goes along with this second criteria range is going to be less than, and then I use the ampersand and I click on the number here. So, we see that there are 125 numbers that are in between 96 and 137. Actually, I'm going to take this, and I'd rather have it here, because this is the first quartile. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to hover the mouse on the side, anywhere on the side, and I'm just going to move it like that. It's the same as cut and paste. So a little bit better to do it this way. Uh, the first quartile would be numbers from 96 to 137. So you see that there are 125 numbers. That is split the first cut of our 500 total values. So now that I have this, when I click in the formula bar, it shows me what it's doing. The blue part, blue here and blue here, refers to our data range. The G8 is green, referring to this cell, and G9 is purple, referring to this cell. So now when I drag this down, we see that we're getting uh, the data values all together. Now, the four different cuts in between those two. The next one is in between 137 and 150. 
and here we have between 150 and 164 and then between 164 and 214. Now because this is our last quartile uh, what we could do is I think we're missing one so if I were to say equals and we want to count them I'm just going to add up all these numbers sum them together there's 499 now that's probably because this one is saying less than G12 but that's the maximum value so I have to say this less than or equal to and now we have all 500 numbers in this data set are accounted for so that is basically how to cut the numbers into four equal parts.